Well, I found myself in one of the most incredible and beautiful places that I've ever had the opportunity to go backpacking. I'm here in the Sawtooth Mountains of Idaho and at Alice Lake, but I'm just so stoked to be outside and to be out on a trip. It's been several months actually since I've been out on a backpacking trip and it just feels amazing. So this morning I left the house at about 5.30 and got to the trailhead roughly around noon and then was, I don't know, puttering around and I think I started hiking about 12.30, 12.45 and it's now 10 after six. So time for some dinner. Got chicken Alfredo that I'm gonna do tonight. Can you ask for more epic and beautiful and <laughs> just an incredible place to sit and eat dinner. I'm just coming around the peninsula here of the lake to take a little walk after dinner. Delicious chicken Alfredo. And now waiting for the sun to go down because hopefully we're gonna get a pretty sweet sunset tonight. But behind me here is Idaho's El Capitan. I think it's majestic. <laughs> Well, good morning. <laughs> it's already nine o'clock and uh, I should be honest here for a second. I don't feel super great, but man, my body hurts today. So my plan today was to basically like take it pretty easy. I've got a four and a half mile hike to my next camp. But I think simply based off of how I'm feeling right now, I'm not gonna do the super aggressive route that I had planned. So I think one of the biggest negatives to really popular areas like this is two things. One, squirrels and chipmunks get trained to get into food bags and they are a huge problem. I've had one chipmunk that just is relentless around my camp. Could care less that I'm here until I pose any kind of threat to him. But then second, I also just went to use the bathroom and while digging a cat hole, I uncovered somebody else's poop and got it all over my shovel and the bottom of my shoe. So, yay. <laughs> call that a bust. Not a bust in the sense that it wasn't fun, <laughs> just in the sense that the fish are not active right now. And I'm trying to throw a dry fly out there, off, fish off the top basically, and they're not feeding off the top. So, and it's also the fact that I genuinely don't think I really know how to fly fish. <laughs> No one's, no one's taught me. I've never had lessons. Uh, so that's that. We're just kind of figuring it out. <laughs> Time to say goodbye to Alice Lake and start making my way up to Twin Lakes and then over the pass and down to Toxaway. When I mapped this out on Onyx Backcountry, I, I don't know, mapped about roughly four and a half miles. I'm going to take it super easy today. I genuinely don't feel awesome, but I feel good enough to start doing the entire loop, but I am going to cut off a large portion of what I had planned, just because risk management, man, <laughs> I don't want to find myself in a crappy situation being out solo. 
on the way up to Twin Lakes. I'm gonna get some water and then just enjoy a casual, beautiful day. This place is incredible. All right, made it to Toxaway, and that was a lot more descent than I thought it was going to be, about 1,200 feet, at least based on my watch. And I've already done five miles, and for at least a half mile, I forgot to uh, have my watch resume its track, so I don't know, it's probably gonna be six miles by the time we're done today, which is more than what I mapped. I feel like oftentimes when you map something, doesn't actually follow the exact trail. So that is where we're at. Let's go find camp and get set up. All right, I found camp for the night and I think I got pretty lucky with an amazing spot. And I kind of surveyed around the area and there's some folks over here to this other side, but there's nothing over here and I can't really see anybody being above me. So as compared to last night, this is a pretty, incredible spot and I'm gonna go take a swim. I am so hot, so sweaty, I feel so gross. So first order of business before I get camp set up, let's go take a dip. I'll take that for a farewell for the evening and time to go get in the tent and just be comfortable and try to have a better night of sleep than I had last night. My watch told me that I didn't get good sleep, didn't have enough REM cycle, and <laughs> I needed to rest my body today. So thank you, Phoenix, for <laughs> telling me that, but seriously. Beautiful sunset and wind's picking up, so I'm gonna go jump in the tent and uh, rest and see you in the morning. Okay, so as I got in the tent, there was a spider crawling across my sleeping bag. 
and a dead bee. So, <sighs> heebie-jeebies right before bed. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> I'm just enjoying a casual, lazy morning here. Try to sleep in as much as possible just because I'm not doing much miles today. The wind is still not awesome, so I don't know that I'm going to be able to fish at all this morning. But the spider saga continues this morning. Well, last night, <laughs> after I got into my bag, I felt something like like an itch on my back, so I went like back to scratch the itch and felt something. It was like kind of squishy, so I like, oh my gosh, there's a freaking spider on my back. Sure enough, like in my fingers, I throw it out the door of the tent, and I'm like, what the crap? That's two spiders inside of my tent. I'm not okay with this. So I literally went through every piece of gear <laughs> inside of my tent to make sure there weren't any more spiders. Not okay with that. I'm just not okay. With spiders inside of my sleeping bag? No. Nope. Not okay with that. So going to get things going this morning, get some breakfast going, and uh, get packed up. And I don't know. We'll see. What, we'll see what happens today. But casual plan easy going all right so i've got on x pulled up on my phone here to just kind of see what i want to do for the day because i was going to be going up this big pass here behind me today but i'm just not going to do that i haven't had an opportunity to fish spent the money on a fishing license and i want to fish so i'm going to take it a bit more easy today and i've been using on x to kind of like make my contingency plan, figure out what exactly I wanna do. And it's nice to be able to have that downloaded map option to be able to make those adjustments. But yeah, I've got some plans in the works and hopefully I can get out of this wind and go enjoy a nice afternoon of fishing before I get to camp. And we're off, like a herd of turtles. Look at how pretty this is. Wow. This is one of those spots that if you're not paying attention, looking at the map, or had somebody share some information with you, you'd walk right past it. So I wanna thank my buddy Travis with the YouTube channel Mountain Wanderer for sharing a little bit of information on this awesome waterfall. And so I think I'm at, I can see it through the trees, the lake that I want to try to fish for an hour or so. We'll see, we're gonna get some food out, just kind of see what the action is like on the water and then kind of go from there. But amazing, just uh, all of it is so good. <laughs> I had put the camera away to go fish the outlet of that lake, which the inlets and the outlets are typically some of my favorite places to fish, uh, just cause I don't know, it's a little bit more exciting. <laughs> but I did manage to catch two small little guys, I don't know, four, six inches, and still so much fun. Just glad to finally have got the rod out and uh, pulled some fish to shore let them go and uh, just enjoy the afternoon. So next stop is Farley Lake. That is where I'm hoping to just kind of book it and find a really nice campsite. I have no idea what the camping is like right there, but it seems like 
it would be the first choice for people coming in for the weekend doing the loop um, as opposed to coming all the way to Toxway. I'm not totally sure, but my goal is to get there soon enough. Hopefully the wind dies down and I can go enjoy a really nice uh, evening and maybe do some more fishing. Just in the zone walking and I, I'm like, man, that's a lot of water. I turned around and it was a waterfall. <laughs> Open your eyes, Devin. Open your eyes. Okay, I have made it to whoa, Farley Lake. But my goodness, it is steep. Getting in here, there's not a great trail around the lake. But I think I've I think I've got here just in time for people to have cleaned up and left for the day and for me to come get a nice spot. So I've got my eye on a spot over here and we'll see what happens. Man, today has been a story of wind. It's just relentless, man. But I have made it to my campsite and to be totally frank and honest, it is not the most ideal campsite. Now, the reason being is it's just closer to the water than it should be. But I've scattered around, I've tried to make the best decisions possible, and there's a pretty large site above me. I'm here by myself. There's a good chance that a larger group is gonna come in looking for a spot. And if I'm in a spot that has multiple tent sites, and I'm a single person in a large spot, that's super frustrating. So I kind of tucked myself down here on the peninsula. I'm just gonna follow Leave No Trace principles super tight, be really mindful of my impact and uh, go with that. But hopefully this wind will just stop blowing so hard. It is just rough, man. I just walked down to the water to get some water fill my bottles and just watched some trees completely fall over across the water here from me, which begs the question, if a tree falls in the forest and someone's around, does it make a noise? <laughs> sure does. Oh, which makes me nervous because there is a nice dead tree like right over my tent. <sighs> Do I move or not? I don't know. There's my tent. There's the tree. That's what just fell over there. Just got all set up. I don't want to move. So I've got a legitimate question for you guys. Let me know down in the comments. When you go on long solo trips, how do you fill your time when you feel like you've done all your camp chores, you've like done everything that you can do, and maybe the weather is forcing you to sit out a storm or the wind or something? What do you do? If you're not somebody that reads books and you don't bring books with you, what else do you do besides movies or <laughs> that kind of thing? I'm not saying that I had like gotten bored or anything today, but there was a point in time where, like just before dinner, that I'm like, man, I kind of wish I had something to do that the wind wasn't making it possible for me to go out and fish and like enjoy the area a bit more. So let me know. Man, what a beautiful morning it is. I slept way better last night, enjoyed the stars. It wasn't windy. <laughs> this is kind of the perfect night. Oh, I'm happy for that. So, actually trying to decide, do I just get cleaned up and start walking back to the car? Or do I get cleaned up and fish for a bit? Or do I fish and then clean up? I don't know, I can't decide. But, last day. Back to the car today.
All right, we're all strung up, ready to hit the water. So I'm gonna come down to the end of the peninsula here and then work my way back towards this log jam that's back at the back end of the lake. There's pretty good action on the water. There's no wind. So, I don't know, let's go spend an hour here right outside of camp and see if we can't catch a fish or two. I hate it when I make an honest effort to like film, try to get me catching some fish on camera, and there's just nothing. <laughs> Came down on the outlet here to fish some of these little pools, and nothing in that. But then when I put the camera away, like yesterday, I had two little guys that I was able to get. It's the curse of the camera, I tell you. <laughs> All right, fishing for the morning is done. Wind's picking up, so time to be done anyway but we're gonna get back to the car and I'm gonna enjoy just you know a nice evening to myself car camping somewhere I really didn't want to go back the way that I came in on the lake because it's unnecessary oh, easy it's unnecessary backtracking and I think I saw people like over here pretty close this looks like somewhat of a social trail, but it's all off trail. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking this direction. Hopefully it's easier than it was coming in. <laughs> all right, Farley Lake. Peace out. Girl Scout. Girl Scout. What's this thing? I'm losing my mind. If you're wondering why I'm filming on my phone so much when I've got my camera here on my shoulder, <laughs> my batteries are all dead. But I think I'm getting pretty close to the junction to kick off from the Yellow Belly Trail over back to Pettit Lake. And I'm gonna stop, eat some snacks, get a little bit of a climb, and then back to the car. Can't believe this trip is just about done. This has been amazing. <sighs> okay, we're not at that point yet. <laughs> Keep going. can't even begin to tell you how enjoyable this trip has been. I have sure enjoyed this beautiful, beautiful place. And this is not going to be my last time here. That's for sure. Just good, good stuff. And <laughs> incredible view of the lake. Oh my gosh, this trail just keeps giving. Well, everyone, that's gonna do it for this trip, the Alice Lake to Toxaway Loop here in the Sawtooth Mountains. I can't thank you enough for being part of the channel, supporting it, coming along on this journey, and let me know what you thought. It's been a while since I've done a trip video, but beautiful view down there, right? I'm gonna get down to the car and just enjoy myself a wonderful afternoon and evening here around Pettit Lake before I head home tomorrow. So, cheers guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Catch you on the next one. See you later.